Hello, and welcome to your virtual tour of the symphony. My name is Zach, and I'm the conductor of the Grand Ron Symphony. During this video, we're going to meet some of my friends from the orchestra, and we'll learn a little bit about each of their instruments. Be sure to stick around for a full performance of some very fun music towards the end of the video. So, let's start by asking, what is a symphony? Well, a symphony or an orchestra is quite simply just a large group of musicians all playing the same music together. Now, this large group can be divided into four instrumental families, and within each instrument family, you might find four to six different instruments. So, let's kick it off and start meeting some of these instrumental families. Our first stop today is the woodwind section. Woodwinds are a type of instrument that require air to be blown through a mouthpiece and through the length of the instrument. They get their name since most of them are made out of wood. However, some, like the flute or the saxophone, might be made out of metal. What they all have in common is that they are all shaped into tubes and they have holes cut into them. Players will then press down on keys that cover different holes in order to make different notes. Our first woodwind player is Lauren on the oboe. Let's check it out. Our second woodwind player is Colleen on the flute. Let's hear what it sounds like. Our final woodwind player is Aaron. He plays the clarinet. Let's hear what it sounds like. So today, we met the flute, the oboe, and the clarinet. However, it's important to note that there are some other woodwind instruments like the piccolo, English horn, bassoon, and of course, the saxophone. Now, on to our next instrumental family, the brass section. Brass and woodwind instruments are very similar in that they both require air to be blown through the length of the instrument. What's different is that Brass instruments are made out of, well, brass, um, which is, of course, a type of metal. Brass players have a metal mouthpiece that they press their lips into and buzz their lips in order to create a vibration that is amplified through the length of the horn. As sound travels through the length of the brass instrument, players might press down valves or adjust a slide to get a different pitch. Our first brass player today is Steve, and he plays the French horn. Let's check it out. Our next brass player is Isaac. He plays the tuba. Let's hear what that sounds like. So today we met the French horn and the tuba, but of course there are other instruments like the trumpet and the trombone. Now, on to our next instrumental family, the percussion section. Hi students, welcome to the percussion section. In the percussion section, we have lots of instruments. Today, I'm showing you the snare drum. The snare drum, you can turn on the snares or you can turn them off. 
when you put the snares on, the snares vibrate against the bottom head. You can even make them make a sound with your voice. When you're hearing the snare drum, you might hear something like this. Sometimes you might hear a roll. At a crescendo. At a crescendo. Or a diminuendo, and it gets soft. The snare drum. Also a part of the percussion section are the timpani, the big kettle drums. And you get to use fluffy little mallets so that you get a really great sound. Here's a big drum. And then here's one that's still big, but a little bit smaller. Isn't that exciting? And you can do a roll. Ladies and gentlemen, the orchestra! Nobody gets to do that except the timpani player. It's a lot of fun. And they also have a pedal so that you can make the sound go higher the sound go lower. And when you eat too much candy, your tummy goes like this. And that's the timpani. Our next and final instrument family is the string section. String instruments make their sound, of course, by vibrating their strings. You can cause the strings to vibrate by either plucking them or bowing them. Let's meet some of our string players. First is Julie on the violin. Our next string player is Denise on the viola. Let's hear from Ambrose, who plays the cello. Our last string instrument is the upright bass or string bass. One of my favorite things about music is that it always helps to tell a story. So we'll leave you today with some music from a very well-known story that I'm sure you'll recognize right away. Enjoy.
Thank you so much for joining us. I had a blast exploring the symphony with you. You are now a certified friend of the symphony. We hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.